I'm back and believe it or not, I have some big Celasta news for you guys today. It's been a while since I've talked about this game, but we have an upcoming DLC and it's absolutely massive. And there's also some other features that are coming with it that are separate from the DLC that I think many of you guys are going to be very interested in. But before I get into the news, let me quickly give you guys an introduction for those of you that have not heard of this game. Celasta is a CRPG, fantasy RPG that came out in October of 2020, right around the time of Baldur's Gate 3 early access and although the world is an original world and some of the classes and races are also original designs by tactical adventures the team behind this game the game is a very faithful adaptation of fifth edition dungeons and dragons in terms of the rules and mechanics so that goes for combat with your actions your bonus actions initiative order and all of that stuff and in my opinion this is one of the strong points of the game and i did play through the entire campaign when it first came out and i absolutely loved it very excited for the future of this company to see what they do but for now we have another DLC, so let's talk about all of the fun news. So as always, I always hear about things over on Twitter, and the first announcement is actually separate from the DLC, but coming with the DLC, but if you don't buy the DLC, you still get this, and that is the announcement of co-op multiplayer for Celasta. So you're finally going to be able to play this game with four people total so with three of your friends if you want or you can also do um you can also join lobbies and this is just really cool because a lot of people were hoping for co-op when the game first came out but many smaller indie companies just don't have the resources to do it especially on launch tactical adventures has brought it to life and this is very exciting the multiplayer is set to launch on april 14th with the dlc that i'm going to talk about here shortly but if you want to check it out before then you have two things you can do here first tactical adventures is doing a multiplayer co-op dev stream on wednesday march 16th at 9 a.m pacific 12 p.m eastern and 5 p.m cet and that's going to be held over on their tactical adventures twitch channel so if you want to just check them out playing multiplayer then you'll be able to do that and also they're going to have a multiplayer beta weekend on march 17th through the 21st so if you already own Celasta, you can try out the multiplayer for free on these set dates right here which is pretty cool a few more details on the multiplayer because I'm sure some of you guys have questions. Over here, they gave us an article and I'll put a link to this below in the video description. Here's what you can expect from this beta version. Multiplayer works on the official Crown of the Magister campaign and custom campaigns from the Dungeon Maker. However, custom dungeons, which are not campaigns, are not available in multiplayer. But like they say here, it's fairly easy to convert a dungeon into a campaign. You can play with your friends all over the world, however, if you do not live in the same region as the host, you will need to select their region when looking for the lobby room. So there's no matchmaking in this game, it's kind of like old school lobbies, you can choose to set a password or not set a password. The multiplayer seems to be designed for people that already have friends to play with. If you don't have friends to play with, feel free to join the Discord server, link is below in the video description, and perhaps you might meet some people that would be interested in playing with you. But yeah, if you want voice comms and stuff like that, it looks like you're going to have to have people that you already know and you guys can set the password and join up and talk on Discord. But but either way, this is still a really cool update. All DLC content is synced with what the host owns. So what that means is if you join a host who has, let's say, the Primal Calling DLC, you will be able to play the Barbarian and the Druid class, which were two classes that came with uh, a past DLC for Celasta. But if you you own the primal calling dlc and you join somebody's game that doesn't have the dlc then you won't have the druid in the barbarian class um, that's just how it's going to work they also say that there will be some desynchronizations um, so just be aware of that hopefully it's not too bad and they say when this happens the host simply needs to save and reload that save to continue playing together and multiplayer will be fully released as a free update to all players on april 14th when the lost valley dlc comes out so uh tactical adventures have, have done this with several updates they've given us a bunch of free stuff multiplayer will be free if you already own the game but of course uh you guys are going to see how cool the lost valley dlc sounds here in just a second over back on their twitter page their third post for today and you guys can see all of these cool images is that we need to get ready for the Lost Valley DLC coming out on April 14th. Prepare for a brand new level 1 to 12 campaign with a non-linear story. So the first campaign, the Crown of the Magister campaign, was a bit more linear in nature. Apparently this one is non-linear. There's going to be multiple endings, new foes to face, and nine new subclasses. 
That's pretty awesome. Expect more than 20 hours of new content, so that's awesome for a DLC. And it will be co-op compatible, so multiplayer will work with Lost Valley. Now we got some more information on Lost Valley over on this article. On April 14th, the Lost Valley DLC is a brand new level 1 to 12 campaign. So those of you guys that remember, the original game was 1 to 10, and then they released two more levels later on. This campaign will be designed for 1 to 12. That will take your party into the lands of Dominion. This remote place, long forgotten by all, is ruled with an iron fist by the tyrant Oranitis. But the arrival of your adventurers will light a fuse under this political powder keg so this adventure will feature a replayable non-linear story as you are the one deciding which faction to side with in order to escape the valley so apparently factions are going to be a big part of this dlc there'll be new foes to face with iconic monsters such as giants hags and golems who try to turn your party into mush new subclasses one for each of the nine existing classes and you'll be able to play lost valley with co-op like i said before now for the nine new subclasses we have the Commander, which are fighters who can bolster their allies both offensively and defensively in the middle of combat. The Hoodlum, which are rogues who rely on intimidation and brute force to get what they want. The Oath of Judgment, held by paladins who seek to purge corruption and deliver justice wherever they go. The Mischief Domain, granted to clerics of Missae, who are always who all, who are always seem blessed. Is that wrong? Hold on. Granted to clerics of Missae. Who are always seemed blessed who, who always seem to be blessed with good luck we'll go with that the court mage elite wizards who are masters at protecting others with their arcane powers the swift blades silent and deadly rangers whose purpose is to assassinate high priority targets that sounds like one i'd like to check out the haunted soul sorcerers with symbiotic relationships to malevolent spirits granting them horrifying magic i take it back i want to play that one the path of the claw and you have to have the primal calling dlc which introduced the druid and barbarian class in order to get this subclass and these are barbarians with powerful dragon-like abilities and the circle of balance which is also a primal calling dlc um, requirement druids who are adept at both granting life and taking it away so this is pretty exciting Celasta does some cool subclasses and like i said not everything that they do is D, &D fifth edition because they don't have a license for everything so they had to be creative and create some original stuff now there's also going to be some new dungeon maker content for those of you guys that have tried out the dungeon maker there's four new environments the jungle swamp valley palace valley city new monsters that you'll be able to put into the dungeons a free new quest system and there's actually three things that are coming for free that you don't have to buy the lost valley dlc for and the new quest system will add quests to your custom adventures to give players specific objectives and reward them with experience and items there's a new dialogue system which will give your custom adventures more charm and lore by adding multi-choice dialogues with npcs and a new custom loot table system where you'll be able to create your own loot tables for chests and monsters to control what the players get so yeah we're getting a lot with this dlc and there's also a decent amount of free content coming too for those of you guys that are holding off on the dlc the pictures look very exciting we have like this lost ruin jungle biome and yeah that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you're interested in the celasta dlc lost valley coming on april 14th and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching